Good evening, this is the Oscar expert here with Brother Bro. It's time for the SAG nominations. Just had the Golden Globe nominations yesterday. And now it's time for the Screen Actors Guild Awards, which are considered very important for what might get nominated for the Oscars. Maria Bakalova. There we go. Bakalova. Movie performance. Glenn Close. Glenn Close. Oh shit, are they okay, gonna okay. do it? Okay, okay. Olivia Coleman. Olivia Coleman. Nice. Expected. Oh! You need to... And there you... What? They no, stole the fantasy right. for no, Alan Burstyn! And Alan Burstyn Oh my zero. fucking god! Lily Collins, you sat up! You sat up! You sat up! Sasha Baron Cohen. Okay. Uh, First trial boy. Chadwick Boseman. The Fox Blood. Mm-hmm. They've animated... Daniel Kaluuya. Nice. Kaluuya, oh, excellent. Jared Leto, The Little Leslie Odom Jr. Are you fucking kidding me? Again with that motherfucker! Again with that motherfucker! How did that happen? They still nominated the top four in that category. They didn't know any Bill Well, at least I didn't get punished for predicting Langela going on that long shot. How is that not a one-off thing? Okay, no Paul Racy by the fucking way! Um, Paul Racy is is perhaps done. And maybe Adam! Oh my god! Oh, oh shit, oh my god. Oh, so Kirby. Gonna be it. Kirby. Kirby. Kirby! Everybody's in here. Everybody's in. The whole crap, the whole gang. McDormand. And then we got Carrie Mulligan. Carrie Mulligan, let's go. And Mulligan. There we okay. go. That, there we, we go. got that top five. We got that. This. Shut up, shut up. Riz Ahmed. Riz Ahmed. It's going to happen everywhere. We told you. Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman. Boseman. Nominate Delroy Lindo, please. Oh, God. Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins. Where's Delroy Lindo? It needs to happen. Gary Gary Oldman! Oh, Gary okay. Oldman! She's excited because she was in that movie. Yeah, man, it's safe against him. Holy shit! Oh my god, they're doing Minari! Minari's fucking going snubbing. all in on Minari! No Orlando snubbed again! No Orlando gone! What the fuck is this? Is it Five Bloods? Minari. Minari. Wow. No promising young woman. We were very Where's sure of that. Where's promising young woman? That didn't happen, did it? Where's promising you? The five mind. bloods happened. Minari happened. The, the, you cannot, you cannot do the five bloods without nominating Delroy Lindo. They only nominated Chadwick Boseman. Minari got three. Minari did extremely well. That puts Minari in for best picture, basically. That basically does. Three. I did terribly in this because my ensemble call. Well, I got three right because I did One Night in Miami, Ma Rainey. Everybody got and, those and right. Trial. And then we got wrong because Five Bloods was in the top five. And here I was, was looking down the list, going, can is it Hillbilly Elegy? Is it the prom? Because I didn't think that they would go for Minari. I really didn't think they'd go for Minari. And I didn't think they'd go for the Five Bloods. Okay, stunt? The Five Bloods. The Five Bloods for wow. stunts? What stunts? Mulan oh, makes I guess it makes sense. Mulan makes perfect sense. News of the World. News of the World. Which has two okay. nominations now. Jesus. Shit, shit, what's the? Oh, I guess the riot scene in Chicago 7? And Wonder Woman, There's okay. no tenant. No, no how tenet. the fuck? There's how the no fuck is there no tenant? Literally, no how the tenet. fuck is there no tenant? We don't like that reverse movie. This there, was total, like, we. these are the movies we like. No invis- No Old Guard, Invisible Man, Extraction, Birds of Prey, like, no, no Bad Boys for Life. This is the trend from last year, too. They they nominate these, like, Best Picture contenders, like News of the World and, and Chicago 7 and Five Bloods that barely have any stunts in them. Jared Leto. Is two for two. Yeah. I have not heard a peep of hype for that man. It that stops here. That fucking stops here. The Baptist didn't shortlist him. That's true. The Critics' Choice will never, Critics never, never do it. Never, never, never do it. You're gonna nominate Paul Racy. I am gonna eat my words. I said Stephen Yun. There's no way. I said there's no way. Wow. That was my exact words. Okay, what do we do about Delroy Lindo? Because he missed Globe and Sag. Now. This is tragic. And if they nominated the Five Bloods. But they didn't nominate Delroy Lindo. Like, that says a lot, too. I mean, that's what happened with The Irishman and Robert De Niro. A lot of times, the Golden Globes do weird shit, and we go, that's a one-off. Helena's angle, Delroy Lindo being snubbed, Jared Leto being nominated. Were not one-offs, were they? Ellen Burstyn. Ellen Burstyn getting snubbed. snubbed. And what the hell happened Wait, with happened Amanda with... Seyfried? They sometimes don't nominate the one that eventually goes on to win the Oscar. Yeah, but why wouldn't they do it? They nominated fucking Gary Oldman. Who, who now, who now... Has a SAG nomination Wait, and can, a Golden Globe Can we nomination. review the supporting actress category? I forget what they nominated. Maria Bakalova. Yeah. Who could win? 
Who could win? Because there's no Amanda Seyfried. Glenn Close could win too. She could win. Olivia Coleman could maybe win. The father quite strong. You know, we didn't expect that in an ensemble. So. Yoon Yejung got nominated here because they fucking loved Minari, which is awesome. And this is a huge boost for that movie because you don't expect indies like this to get three SAG nominations, which is tied for the most right now. Ma Rainey has three as well. That was very worthy of a nomination. So I'm very happy for Minari. They didn't and do any- Steven Yun. I mean, that's, yeah. he mm. did not have as much screen time as anybody else who got nominated in that category. I mean, and also Minari just got, got left out of a BAFTA shortlist for best film. So it yeah. will not be nominated the BAFTAs. But with a SAG ensemble, maybe PGA goes for it. I mean, you have you have to also wonder if PGA would go for the Five Bloods at this point. Okay, so this makes Paul Racy like someone you probably don't you you might want not want to be predict. Maybe I'll still predict him because I don't see Jared. Well, Leto a lot of people be. are are still going to have hope for him, and he's still probably going to be like number I, five. Or I six. might have hope for him because I don't Jared think it's going to be Bill Murray, and I think it, it's not yeah. going to be Jared Leto right? unless they want to do a trial boy. But, but, but trial boys <laughs> are done. Boys. Trial boys are done now. Funny Nobody else. If we have to consider Helena Dangle. And Maria Bakalova are stronger than Ellen Burstyn. I I I, I can't even comprehend that because I I like needed Ellen Burstyn to get her nomination. They nominated Amy Adams and Glenn Close, which means they liked Hillbilly Elegy, and but they, they did not nominate Hillbilly Elegy for ensemble, which we predicted. You know, we we thought there would be some long shots, but I think everything from everything I think was more normal. Minari than we was what number seven or eight. So that, that, that was all pretty normal, pretty standard. Yeah. I am shocked they didn't nominate Promising Young Woman. I really felt like that was coming. I don't know if it needs it to be like a big contender. It's going to get a lot of BAFTA nominations because it's British. It's going to get Critics' Choice nominations. Golden Globes loved it. So it's not like this is bad for it. Yeah, there were, there were actually no insane snubs in Ensemble, which is funny because usually there's like an insane snub. But even Mank, we could see coming. They nominated the Five Bloods, which a lot of people thought. A lot of people didn't think Mank was coming though. We have a very competitive supporting actress win race and so much for Amanda Seyfried sweeping. Yeah. She can't sweep anymore. (laughs) Ellen Burstyn is is very, very fucking exchangeable. I think Mank, they just didn't like it. And what does it say that- But it's still interesting that Gary Oldman is so strong. How is he so strong when Mank Mank missed out everywhere else? I don't know what to think of Helena Zengel. Like, she's gotten more nominations than Convention A. Wallace did. Jacob Trombley and Room didn't get both the Golden Globe and the SAG. I can't say she's not worthy of it. She was very good in that And movie. does that say that the support for News of the World might be a little broader than we think? I was very doubtful that Stephen Young was strong. It's him, Delroy Lindo, Gary Oldman competing for two slots. And I guess Tahar Rahim like, could be part of that conversation as well if he gets BAFTA. And Bozeman for Five Bloods they nominated. They're just putting him in that slot when they really have perfectly good opportunity just to nominate him for Ari's Black Bottom, which he absolutely deserves. But for Five Bloods, I really don't think that would happen if he was still here with us. New Critics' Choice prediction soon, because the Critics' Choice are on the 8th. We'll be reacting Critics' Choice, and then after the Critics' Choice, we'll do updated Oscar predictions with all that juicy new information. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Where is Amanda Seyfried?